Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. Today I've got an all new dupes video. I love filming these kinds of videos and this one I'm especially excited about because I found dupes for all of my favorite products, the ones that I recommend the most, plus a few others. I found a dupe for my favorite eyeshadow palette, my favorite foundation, favorite powder, favorite makeup removing balm, so I'm really excited to share these with you guys. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Kelly. I upload four videos every single week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and we focus a lot on drugstore content here on this channel, all price points, but I especially love sharing amazing drugstore products. If that's you too, make sure that you subscribe. Let's go ahead and hop into the dupes. If you've never seen one of my dupes videos before, I like to include spot on dupes and also alternatives that maybe aren't quite as similar when you swatch them out or look at the consistency, but when they're applied, you will not see a difference. So let's start off with my most recent find. Ooh, I've got some Becca dupes in here too, because you guys have been asking for those, but we'll get there. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm too excited. I love dupes videos, but I asked you guys over on my Instagram account what products you wanted me to find a dupe for, and an answer I was getting a lot is this makeup removing balm. This is from Pharmacy. It's their Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is amazing. If you did want to splurge, I do recommend it. This comes in two different sizes. You can get 1.7 ounces or 3.4, and the price ranges from 22 for the small or 34 for the large. My alternative that I wanted to recommend is this one from e.l.f. So this is two ounces for $10. So when you break it down price per ounce, quite a bit more affordable than the pharmacy. This is their Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. You guys made me buy this one. I mentioned that I was trying to find a dupe for this and a lot of you guys said, try the e.l.f. one, it's my holy grail. And I have been so impressed with this. The texture is very similar to the pharmacy option where they're both completely solid balms in the packaging. And then once you start to warm it up on the skin, that's when it kind of breaks down and becomes more of an oil. I find them both equally effective at breaking down makeup. Also, e.l.f. goes on sale pretty often, so it's possible you could find this at even more of a discounted rate. Whereas pharmacy, the only time you'd really be able to get this on sale is a small discount in the Sephora VIB sale. So this is a great option to check out. Loving this one from e.l.f. Okay, let's do a Becca dupe, but this is kind of a double dupe because the Becca option is almost identical to another option. So my dupe dupes two products. Did that make any sense? So this is the Becca Hydrolite Lip Balm. These are tinted lip balms that came out last summer and they're extremely similar to the Persona Cosmetics E-Balm. So I just wanted to share a dupe for this type of product. I kind of think these two almost dupe each other, except weirdly, I would expect the Becca one to be more expensive, but the Becca option retails for $22, no, $19, and the Persona E-Balm is $22, which I thought was kind of steep. Now, if you don't wanna spend $20 on a tinted lip balm, this $5 option from e.l.f. I've been so impressed with. This is called the Hydrating Core Lip Shine. The way that, both, that all three of these sit on the lips is pretty similar. I also get a similar level of hydration from all three of them, but this one is a quarter of the price of these two. The only difference that I can notice is that the e.l.f. option in the tube doesn't feel as, how do I describe this? It's a little bit more stiff in the tube. So it doesn't feel as smooth and balmy when I'm applying it as these two do, but throughout the day, the level of hydration, the wear time, they're all pretty comparable between all three of them. So if you're looking for that type of tinted lip balm that's really trendy all of a sudden, a lot of brands are doing this, I think the e.l.f. option is great. And you know what's funny? I really did not like this type of product for a while, but I've kind of been into them lately just for day-to-day -day wear. It's nice underneath a mask. You're gonna get minimal transfer, so I would check out the e.l.f., but honestly, all three are pretty good. Okay, I know you're waiting for the palette. If you guys have been around my channel for a little while, you know that this is my favorite eyeshadow palette. This is the Sigma Enchanted palette, and I mean, it's just so beautiful. Now, the dupe for this one, 
I would categorize more as an alternative versus a spot on dupe because it doesn't dupe every single shade. It's not like one of those copycat palettes where they go in and dupe every shade. However, I think there are enough similar shades in it that I want to point it out. And that's the ColourPop Making Mauves palette. So I picked this one up somewhat recently and I've noticed that almost every single look that I create with this gives me enchanted palette vibes. So I decided like, you know, I got to check it out and I swatched them side by side and between the mauves in both palettes, there are so many duplicate shades. Now, obviously making mauves is not going to have some of these pops like the greens or the duochrome or this gold shade. However, if you've been drawn to this based on the mauves, but you couldn't quite get yourself to pay $50 for this, this is $14 and the mauve shades are so similar that when I create a look with this or this, I can't really tell the difference when I'm using the mauves, don't get me wrong. I still love the greens, the other shades in here, that's what makes this palette for me. But if you feel like you won't use those, there's a lot of carryover shades in this palette that I think it's worth checking out. All right, let's do one of my all-time favorite foundations. This is from Oma Beauty. This is their Say What Foundation. Okay, first of all, I just highly recommend this. Anything in this video, I do recommend the non-dupe, the non-dupe, the original. I do recommend them, especially this. If you're in a place to splurge and spend $40 on a foundation, this is one I highly recommend. I think it is one of the most beautiful foundations that I have that wears just the same from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. When I need to feel confident and I need my foundation to last and to look nice and to perfect my skin, this is the one I'm reaching for almost every single time. However, I have had so many comments saying, can you find a dupe for that? I just can't spend $40 on a foundation even though I really want it. Enter Koki. So this is not new, but I tested it out recently. This is the Skin Perfect HD Foundation from Koki. You guys, this was on my list to test out for so long, but I put it off because I've got plenty of foundations, but they sent it to me a few months ago and I was like, okay, let me finally try it. The first time that I wore it, I'm like, what does this remind me of? What does this remind me of? And it's this. The consistency between both of these is so similar. The coverage level is very similar. Also, because they both are on the thinner side, they don't look heavy. So it's kind of like a second skin. I get beautiful wear time from both of these throughout the day. If you're wondering my shades, I have Fair Lady T2W in the Oma Beauty. When I'm very self-tanned, this is an okay match for me, but it's a little bit more orange than I like, like yellowy orange base. And in the Koki, I have 20W, and this is kind of, if I don't have a tan, this would be a better match. Also, they both have a pump, which is great. I can't say enough good things about both of these. I recommend getting both, but this is my dupe I wanted to share with you guys. Another Becca dupe, okay. This is the product that everyone wants to find a dupe for. This has been around for a while, but I noticed it get a ton of buzz recently. This went viral on TikTok. I've been seeing so many people talk about how much they love it. And for good reason, it's a really great product. This is the Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Now, this is over $30, and I shared an alternative to it in a previous dupes video, but it was a liquid color corrector. So for me, I thought that the wear of both were very similar, but it wasn't an exact dupe because they're just different consistencies. This is a cream that was a liquid. But I found a cream that I almost like better. This is from Flower Beauty. It's called the Smoothing Color Corrector. Now, I'm gonna show you guys, obviously, up close photos of everything. And you'll notice here that the undertone is slightly different. The Becca option leans a little more salmony pink, whereas the Flower Beauty option has more of a peachy orange base to it. I kind of like that though, because orange is intended to color correct blue, which is what my dark circles and most of our dark circles are. So I find this to be almost a little bit more effective for color correcting. The other minor difference here is the consistency. The Becca option is a lot creamier, which allows it to be very hydrating. So if you have dry under eyes, I would still direct you towards the Becca option because the Flower Beauty one is a little bit more stiff and not as creamy. However, 
That makes this one sit a lot smoother under the eyes. So I find that this leaves my under eyes looking smoother and the Becca option leaves them looking more hydrated. So depending on what you're going for, you might prefer one over the other, but one when Becca goes out of business in September and or if you didn't wanna spend $30 on a color corrector, check out this $10 option from Flower Beauty. I have been using it so much recently. Bare Minerals is one of my favorite brands. I rave about them all the time. And the Mineral Veil is one of the most beautiful, natural looking finishing powders out there. I said that so weird, but you guys know how much I love this powder. But I recently discovered the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, and I think they're similar enough that I really wanted to give this a shout out in today's video. A lot of you guys told me that you find this really similar to the Hourglass Loose Setting Powder. I haven't tried that one, so I can't confirm, but I think it's super similar to the Mineral Veil. They're both very soft powders. They're not like dry powders. They look really smoothing on the skin without taking the life away from your skin. They both have a subtle blurring property to them and neither of them are too matte. I would say that the Mineral Veil tends to look slightly more matte, but I still wouldn't describe it as matte. I would just describe it as natural, whereas the e.l.f. one is slightly more glowy. So again, depending on preference, you might prefer one over the other, but they're similar enough that if you're looking for a budget option for the Mineral Veil, try the e.l.f. Halo Glow. That was so much fun. I love dupes videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.